In this video, we'll see how to create a team. Just be aware that you might not actually need to create a team. You might just join teams that were created by somebody else. But if you do need to make a team, here's how it works. In the sidebar in the left, I want to make sure that the teams category is selected. Then in the column beside that, you'll see a list of all the teams that you're a member of. If you're not a member of any team, this list will be empty. Then down at the bottom, I'll click join or create team, which opens up these options to the right if they were not already open. And one of these options is to create a new team. Now, your create team function may or may not be available to you depending on your IT policy. You can make multiple teams and they can all have different members. I'm going to click on this to make a new team. And we're going to focus on the option to build a team from scratch. That's the standard scenario. Now, there's the privacy option. The private option means only people you invite will be able to join this team. Public means any other people in your organization can join it without an invitation. And there's the org wide which means everybody in your Office 365 organization will be automatically added to the team. You should really be careful with this one, and most users should not make an org-wide team. It depends on your IT policy whether this option for org-wide team creation is available or not. I'm just going to make a private team, so I'll select that. Then, I need to give the team a name. Generally, I recommend that your teams are defined by a group of people, not a specific project, such as IT, HR, or accounts. There is another layer of organization inside of a team that you can use to set up for different projects. So it's better to define the team itself by the people who will be in the team. Of course, there are always exceptions, but until you learn how everything works, I suggest you stick with that. So I'm going to make a team called testing, teams private. Then below that, it's a good idea to give this a description. But I'll skip that for now and click Create. Now I can add people to this team. I can add anybody from my Office 365 organization. That means anybody from my company or institution that is part of my organization's Office 365 plan. Now, there is a feature that allows you to invite users who are not in your company's Office 365 plan. Those users are called guests. And that's a topic that we'll cover in a separate video in this course. So for now, I can just type a person's name or their email address, and it will search through my company's directory. So I'm going to find a sample account called Trainer. I select trainer and click add. Now that I've added one person, of course, I can add a lot more. But for now, I'm just going to add this one and click close. And of course, now that I have the team listed over here on the left, I created it. So of course, it shows up on my list. Now, one important thing that you should know 
every person I add to this team will automatically become a member. They don't have to accept the invitation or do anything to confirm membership. When they sign into Teams, they will see that this team listed over here will be also listed on their account because they are a member. They will be able to see all messages and everything else related to that team. If you created the team, you are the team owner. As the team owner, you can add more members later. What we'll do at this point is come over here beside the team name to these three little dots and this menu appears. From there, I can click add member. So I can add any member from my organization or an email. So I'm just going to try trainer, click the name, click add. And like that, the person is a member of the team. You can also cancel the invitation by clicking X. And when I'm done, just click close. That's all it takes to create a new team and add members to that team.